Hello and welcome. A very happy Sunday to you if you're watching this on Sunday. If you're watching it on Monday and Tuesday, well, yeah, happy Monday and Tuesday to you. Anyway, um, this will be my unwrapping uh, and first look at the brand new Codex Heretic Astartes Chaos Space Marines. Such a mouthful. It's got a skull on it. Of course, it's Games Workshop, but it's got a number two in there, uh, which means that it's the second edition of the same uh, Chaos Space Marine Codex. It's basically got uh, all the FAQ errata and changes in there, and it's got all the new units and things uh, from the, the recent releases and the soon to be released. Now, this is, I say, quite unheard of, really, for Games Workshop to release uh, a codex so early in a brand new range release and um, they're releasing it now and there's still a few models new models to to come out and um, such as the lord discordant and the havocs and things like that so this is going to be your ideal time to have a look at the tweaks and things one of the biggest i say controversial tweaks is the the havocs have uh, toughness five and they then they can move and fire their heavy weapons without any uh infringement but still anyway this book here, it'll cost you £25, like mostly all the other um, codexes. It is in hardback. I'm not sure how many pages it is, but uh, we'll get to that very quickly in this first look. Uh, but I can tell you it includes 53 data sheets. Now, if you compare that to um, Chaos Demons, this has more, um, but it has less than obviously the Space Marine Codex, which is the largest codex out of all of these armies. That has 85. Anyway, without further ado, Let's find a suitable blade and whip this bad boy open. It is a thick one, um, just from the, the looks of it. Um, this is my first ever Chaos Space Marine Codex, everyone. Uh, I don't have a Chaos Space Marine Army. Well, obviously now I do. Um, but uh, not including the Death Guard Codex, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, one of the best codexes out there, in my opinion. Anyway, let's unwrap this. And uh, have a look at that lovely shiny artwork. Beautiful. Here we go. Look how thick it is. It's thick, solid. It's a solid, solid, thick codex, um, Chaos Codex. Uh, here we go. Can we see some new models? Yes, we can. There's some of the new models from the um, Shadow Spear set, such as the Obliterators and the Venom Crawler. And you've got some old models like the Chaos Predator um, and I think the Demon Prince. But then you've got some, and the Cultists are kind of quite old now. But you've got the new models, such as these. Terminators right at the front, you've got Abaddon, um, you've got uh, the Chaos Space Marines, more new Chaos Space Marines, uh, I think they are the ones from the Shadow Spear set actually. You've got this Dark Apostle guy, which I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on, even though his book's on, on fire and there's lava and stuff coming from it, that's pretty good. Um, and then you've got the Lord Discordant over there, and then you've got all of the Chaos Space Marines here, and then you've got all of the uh, Primera Space Marines here. Looks like you've got some in intercessors mixed with some Phobos pattern and you've got some Inceptor suppressors and a few eliminators on, on the top there. Um, uh, with one of those uh, Noctilith's uh, crowns way at the back, which the rules are in here as well. Um, as always, designed in the UK, printed by CNC in China. All of the codexes and books are now, even the £80 Horus Heresy books. Um, the books and the uh, scenery is pretty much made in China. Everything else is uh, done in the UK. Lovely bit of artwork. This, this is the artwork um, from the uh, Vigilus book, actually, which I have here. And this will be your first look video tomorrow um, on Monday. Um, but as you can see, it's exactly the same, just blown up and made black and white. So they do share a lot of similarities. Like I said before, I think, yeah, this should have been a separate release. That's fine. But I still think that Vigilus 2 book should have been in the uh, Shadow Spear um, box set. And I can only imagine how many more box sets they would have um, sold if they had bundled it in there as kind of like a Dark Imperium second coming. And I can't believe they missed a trick there. Anyway, um, Chaos Space Marines, veterans of the Long War. They certainly are, abandoned the despoiler. He's a minimum of 10,000 years old, let's face it. He's been around since Horus Heresy and he's probably a few hundred years old um, before that, probably even um, a thousand years old or so. Anyway, of course, it's first published in 2019, this year, um, but let's just jump to how many pages it is. 176, so it's shy of 200, making it one of the largest codexes uh, in existence. So jam-packed full of content. Um, you've got a nice introduction there. 
You've got the artwork in full resplendent colour with a dark apostle and you've got the Lord Discordant over there which looks larger than a Land Raider. It's mounting that Land Raider and um, going to ride the Land Raider but clearly it's not as it's not bigger than a Land Raider but we'll see when the model comes out. Um, Let the Galaxy Burn, Great Crusade. Uh, You've got the Horus Heresy, so a lovely big section here, and I'm so pleased that they did this with some Horus Heresy artwork um, too. Another excellent picture. This is a thing, you're gonna get all of these incredible pictures and artwork from the Horus Heresy in a Chaos Space Marine Codex. There's no um, going around it. Um, yeah, you've got some more here. So you've got the Traitor Legions, Chaos Renegades, uh, Vengeance writ large, so you've got uh, kind of like a little timeline of uh, different battles over many millennia, but it's only two pages, which is, I would have liked more for that. Then you've got the Black Crusades, the Black Legion, Black Legion Warbands, so Hounds of Abaddon, Sons of Cyclops, Bringers of Decay, and Children of Torment. I want to say the Hounds of Abaddon are kind of like... Uh, the World Eaters for Angron. I want to say the Sons of Cyclops, I like the Thousand Sons, the Bringers of Decay, I like the Plague Bearers, and then you've got the Children of Torment, which are like the Emperor's Children, hence Children of Torment. Galaxy Divided. And you've got a bit of artwork there included. Really, really cool. Of the segment, Segmentum Solar, the, segment, the Ultima Segmentum, and the big Cicatrix Maledictum. There's the rest of the timeline. Oh, good, right, A Legacy of Hate. Right, remember this is my first look at this uh, codex. I haven't seen any other videos or any other content. Another couple of pages for what's been going on. And then we get into the legions themselves. So you've got Alpha Legion here. Lovely bit of artwork there, that Terminator. The Legion's Long War. So a bit of a backstory there for Alpha Legion, the faces of the Hydra. So you've got different colors there for them. Iron Warriors. So it goes into all of these legions um, separately, which I'm so chuffed and pleased that they have done. Um, and the Siege, more, more backstory. Uh, Chill of Iron, so you've got different factions there within them. Night Lords, <laughs> their pages are all, oh, they missed a trick then. They could have put all their pages as, as dark or black. That's pretty good. Conrad Kurz, bless him. Uh, Fear Eternal, In Midnight Clad. Really fun colour scheme, I, I bet, to paint. Word Bearers, who is the Legion I'm kind of um, leaning towards. Again, put it in the comments. I'm always asking your feedback. Put it in the comments which Legion I should paint my um, Chaos Space Marines in. But I am leaning towards Word Bearers. Um, yes, it is an excuse to get the Lorgar model, even though he's, he's not that good in combat. Every other Primark could um, whoop his ass. Uh, you've got a little bit of a um, timeline there. The, world, the Word of Lorgar. The World Eaters, um, I'm not a huge fan of Khan and Angron and, you know, so I don't think I'll be um, pursuing this Legion. Uh, Oceans of Blood, anointed with the Blood of Worlds. Although I do like the new core models. I do like the um, Skull Taker, I think it is, and, and those ones. Um, so I am quite tempted. Emperor's Children. You get this beautiful bit of artwork, this time in full colour, um, which I think we saw recently in the uh, Warhammer 40k Legends series. So, lovely work. I mean, wow, you even get a lovely, brilliant Raptor there model. Um, incredible. I'd put mine as purple if I, if I was going to do Slanesh. Ah, wow, you get even more. This is brilliant. Okay, so, Renegades and Tyrants look. Um, the Scourge, Flawless Host, Blood Disciples, Company of Misery, Crimson Slaughter, Brazen Beasts, The Cleaved, and The Purge. Not The Purge, but The Purge. Oh, even more, wow. Red Corsairs, Sons of Vengeance, Invicata Invicators, uh, The Hedonistari. Oh, Hedonist, The Hedonites, which uh, a new um, release by Games Workshop. Uh, the updated Slanesh models, including that. Um, odd looking Keeper of Secrets. I'm not a huge fan. I just think it needs more boobs. That's what I think. But there we go. Um, Corpus Brethren, Magma Hounds, Deathmongers, and the Great Death. And there you go. Look at that. Lovely bit of artwork there. 
with a Chaos Terminator Lord it looks like um, and uh, one of those demon one of those forge fiends I think it is Demon Prince is very iconic um, <clears throat> piece of artwork there I always thought that Demon Prince was massive because you've got a body of a person on his shoulder pauldron uh, Chaos Lords so like all the other codexes they look at um, the units individually and give you you know flesh them out sorcerers masters of possession warp smiths dark apostles so this is all new for this one uh, masters of executions um, i think we'll be getting a separate model for him lords discordant another new model uh, chaos space marines fantastic bit of artwork that terminators possessed love the new possessed models hopefully they're going to bring out a box set of them and um, because their rules are pretty good raptors warp talons cult of destruction so you've got obliterators and mutilators um obliterators uh the new models if you've seen them uh they like chaos Sp space marine and um, centurions that have been uh, mutated and increased in size hell brutes Chaos Battle Tanks, it's an old but good piece of artwork. Again, another one, Chaos Land Raiders, Chaos Vindicators and Chaos Predators. Chaos Cultists, whether we'll see some new models, I'm not sure about that. Chaos Spawn, fantastic models. And Demon Engines, Forge Fiends, Mauler Fiends. Helldrakes, love to get a Helldrake one day. Uh, Venom Crawlers, new, new model there. Defilers and Lords of Skulls. I never really liked the Lord of Skulls. If it, if it had legs, if it was like a walker, I would. Um, you know, if, if they did a specific uh, Renegade Imperial Knight um, with loads of markings and things, then I, I'd go for that too. But um, I like the, the type of Lord of Skulls that Forge World do um, with bits of resin. Corn Berserkers, Khan the Betrayer. Here we go, so we've got um, some Legion specific units now. Rubric Marines, Plague Marines, Noise Marines, Lucius the Eternal. They definitely need a new model for him, I think. Uh, Fabius Bile, another new model needed. Huron Blackheart, I think they need a new model for him. The Fallen, Cypher, so you've got Cypher in the, in the Codex as well. Harkin World Claimer, new. This this all looks a bit new to me as well. Um, I don't know why they've done it on graph paper, on these squared bits. But, oh well. Yeah, it looks like your old graph paper. I don't think it's needed. I, th I think if it was just plain or like that, that would have been that would have worked. But as it stands, it looks a bit. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Um, but anyway, you've got Harkin World Climate and you've got Abaddon the Despoiler. And this time he's got the red lightsaber. I mean, the you know, his sword is glowing red for some reason. Blood Letters. So you've got some um, Chaos Demon um, units in here. So we've got Blood Letters and Horrors. Plague Bearers and Demonettes. It's an old bit of artwork. And there you go. So you've got a lot of units here they go through a lot of uh, different units from page 56 all the way to 97 so you've essentially got 21 pages full of content that explores each individual unit in the codex then you get some uh, pictures of the models themselves a big highlight and showcase of abaddon and the jewel and you get that in the uh, and you get uh, a nice poster mini poster of both of them dueling it out uh, if you get a bad and the despoiler model then you've got the new models the new um, chaos terminators i'm not a huge fan i would have preferred if they went down the um death shroud and death guard terminator uh, route um black lord terminators in in terms of uh, the armor um this armor was quite new uh, in the Horus Heresy, and I would have liked them to go for Cataphracty or even Tartarus um, uh, armor, but still, that's the decision they've gone for. They've kind of just upgraded um, the current kit. Then you've got a showcase of uh, the new Chaos Space Marines here. Um, specifically, they've chosen to outline 
the uh, Alpha Legion there. And then some more Black Legion here. Uh, with an Iron Warriors and an uh, Alpha Legion with a plasma gun. You got a nice uh, picture there of uh, the Chaos fighting the Gene Stealer cults. Um, you've got Dark Apostle, you've got some uh, Obliterators um, and the new Havocs. Uh, you've got a Black Legion Chaos Lord with a Thunder Hammer and Plasma Pistol. Um, so what they've done there is they've just uh, used Obsidious Malik's uh, model from the uh, Black Fortress um, set. You've also got the new Black Legion Dark Apostle, which I'd love to pick up along with his Dark Disciples. I'm really interested to find out how much he's going to cost, whether they're going to push him at £30 or whether they're going to push him at a or whether they're going to choose to sell him at a reasonable 25. I think 25 for him and his two Dark Disciples would be okay. Um, but if they go for the 27, 30 pound route, that's going to be very pricey. Um, then you've got what looks like to me a new Black Legion Master of Executions. I think he's a new model. Uh, looks really, really cool. Um, I haven't seen him before, so uh, hopefully we'll get him soon. Then you've got um, some more new models. You've got the old Possessed, which are awful, very awful. I don't like them at all. Comparing them to the new uh, Greater Possessed, um, they really do need to um, change this uh, Possessed um, range, in my opinion. Add more of the detail and, and things um, to the range. Uh, find it very I find it frustrating when they put old models in you know with the new uh, new ones and new codex but you've got the master of possession as well and um, you've got Hark and world claim which is still a fantastic model and then you've got some raptors which again I wish that they uh, bring out some new models for raptors then you've got the uh, Lord discordant I should just show you that absolutely stunning model but I don't think he's as big as um, we are led to believe. Um, look at him there. He looks quite big there compared to the Defiler, um, but he is closer. Um, he's only t three intercessors high, probably, judging by that picture. He's certainly not um, able to mount a Land Raider, no way. Anyway, we'll see. There's a the Venom Crawler um, that you get in the Shadow Spear set. Hopefully he'll, he'll come out separately at some point. Um, then you've got uh, another look. I mean, oh, that's quite good, actually, because that shows him sort of next to a, a Vindicator, and it doesn't look like he's going to be able to mount a Vindicator, let alone a Land Raider. I mean, there's the Land Raider in the back, look. I know that's it's in the background, but still. Then you've got to look at um, Aspiring Champion and then the Havocs and Mauler Fiends and Forge Fiends and the Held right there. Here are some Havocs. There's a bit of a focus on these new models. That Reaper Chain Cannon is fantastic, but unfortunately, Games Workshop, oh, why did they do this? They've only provided one Reaper Chain Cannon in the set, which I will be fuming about um, in my unboxing and review of them next weekend. Um, such a good weapon. Um, it looks immense too, but they only include one. Why do we have two LAS cannons, two heavy bolters, two missile launchers when we should be having a minimum of two, possibly three Reaper Chain Cannons? Games Workshop even suggests on their community website, oh yeah, why don't you kit your whole squad out with Reaper Chain Cannons? Yes, of course we're gonna do that, Games Workshop, because then we'll be spending 120 pounds on 20 Space Marines, which is not far off Forge World prices. Anyway. Enough about my grumbling. There's some uh, obliterators as well. Maybe we'll get a separate kit for them. And then you've just got uh, a look at some more old models. So it shows that you can use um, Cypher there. Uh, the Plague Marines, which are very good looking models. Uh, the Rubric Marines aren't too bad. Their proportions are a bit off though, in my opinion. Uh, Lucius the Eternal, old model, needs updating, but you're really but they have included the uh, colourful Noise Marine with Sonic Blaster, which is a decent model. Um, and then you've got some old, old, com look at that, how old that Corn Berserker looks. And then you've got some slightly updated ones, but oh, they're terrible. Carnival Betrayer is still a good model in my opinion. Um, uh, 
almost mirrors his Forge World model actually um, from the Horus Heresy. Um, but I like his model, but the, the corn range needs needs an update. Um, but I do like what they've done with the, uh, the corn demons. Then you've got the uh, Noctilith Crown, where if you're facing against a Chaos player, they're pretty much going to be camping around that all all game because it can't be destroyed and they're gonna give and it's gonna give them a, a five plus invulnerable save. You got a couple of other models down here. I think they're the new Terminators and I think that is a new uh, Havoc champion um, of Slanesh. Um, and then you've got some uh, 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 focus on um, different legions and different examples of uh, Chaos Space Marines. And here you've got a little bit of a look at uh, the uh, the demons now the horrors for Zinch and the demonettes uh, for Slanesh look old they do look old models I like that um, Slanesh are getting a bit of a rehash but Zinch should definitely be next plague bearers are still good I like them and the bloodletters aren't too bad either um, but definitely these two ranges need a, a, a big update right then the codex looks at the path to glory beckons um, so you get two examples here one of this small force, so you've got uh, Abaddon the Despoiler and Chosen Champion st stand at his side. So you've got a squad of Terminators, a Lord Executioner, a Dark Apostle and Abaddon. And then you've got kind of like a small force here. You've got a, a Master of Possession there. You've got a Venom Crawler. You've got some um, Chaos Space Marines and you've got the Obliterators and the Greater Possessor. So basically you've got the set of the Shadow Spear um, box uh, right there as a small kind of army as an example then you've got a massive army here um, everything from venom crawlers to more chaos space marines to the terminators to abaddon himself a dark apostle demon princes more possessed lord discordant um all kinds of things going on in this picture uh and it just lists all of the, the units. It seems to be more and more elite specific. It's, Chaos seems to be focusing on the smaller, more elite uh, units, rather than what would be happening in reality where you'd get thousands and thousands of cultists and um, corrupted civilians and weak-minded individuals that would just go out on the streets with nothing but hammers and blunt weapons and things. The, the, this looks like a very elite fighting force with specific units um, moving more and more towards kind of like a custodies army. Um, but there we go. Uh, then we get onto all of the rules uh, for all of the units, which we'll go through. So you've got Slaves of Darkness, Slaves to Darkness, Case Space Marine War Gear lists. Um, all the, the Slaves to Darkness abilities, you've got Legion, uh, Mark of Chaos, and Death to the False Emperor. You've also got Demonic Ritual there. Um, and then you've got all the Chaos Space Marine War Gear lists. Lots and lots of weapons in War Gear there. Here we go. These are all the uh, data sheets. 53 of them. So straight away, an HQ choice, not a Lord of War choice, but an HQ choice. Abaddon the Despoiler. 12 power points. Um, got some lovely abilities there. Then straight next to him, you've got Hark and World Claimer. And then you've got a Demon Prince. You've also got Khan the Betrayer in there, Fabius Bile, Lucius the Eternal, Cypher, Huron Blackheart, a Chaos Lord, and a Chaos Lord in Terminator armor. Then you've also got, so this, the Chaos Army is not missing out on HQs. You've got the Master of Possession, a Sorcerer, and Sorcerer in Terminator armor, and an Exalted Champion. <laughs> We're not finished. You've got the Lord Discordant is an HQ uh, choice on Hellstalker. It has a toughness of six, 12 wounds, four attacks, save of two plus, weapon skill and ballistic skill of two plus. Uh, it's got five plus and vulnerable save as well. And uh, Infernal Regeneration. Very strong unit that, um, not too bad for nine points. You've also got a Warp Smith and a Master of Executions. Um, weapon skill two plus, brilliant. The Axe of Dismemberment, when you wound on a 6+, plus, uh, it suffers one mortal wound in addition to everything else. It's AP minus 3 and its strength is 8 and its damage is D3. Uh, another strong character there. And then you've got one final one, which is the Dark Apostle. It's odd that the Dark Apostle doesn't get the Dark Disciplines with them, but it does say you can only get one unit of Dark Disciples, which includes two of them uh, in your army for each Dark Apostle in your army. 
um, but they're an elite choice on top of the HQ choice for the Dark Apostle. I thought I'd make that point. And then Winter Troops, Chaos Space Marines, quite a small data sheet as you can see. Obviously you can give them champion equipment lists, you can give them special weapons or heavy weapons. Um, you have one aspiring champion and four Chaos Sp Space Marines. Um, but you can include an additional 15 if you want, so you can have 20 in a squad, pretty decent. And they've got the death to the False Emperor, of course. Chaos Cultists. You can have 20 additional Cultists, so you can have 30 in a squad there. That's a troop choice. Another troop choice is Blood Letters. You can have 30 in a squad there. Horrors. Another troop choice. Again, you can have 30 there. Plague bearers, you can also have 30. And demonettes, you can have 30. So you can have 30 in all of these for um, Chaos Demon specific troop choices. Then we're on to elites. So you've got chosen. You have five in the squad. You can have an additional five, so you can have 10. How do they differ from normal um, Chaos Space Marines? Well, their leadership is better and they've got two attacks and they can take any they can take one item from the melee weapon and they can replace bolt pistols with plasma pistols and they can replace bolt guns with um combi or we special weapons um so they're just chosen they're just a bit better <coughs> with more attacks personally i'd give them plasma pistols and they're better melee weapons put them in a rhino or a land raider or or something like that um and make use of those two attacks. Terminators, they've got the two wounds and the save of two plus, and obviously they have the five plus and vulnerable save and they can teleport about. You can have 10 in a squad. Uh, they're typically armed with a combi bolter and a chain ax. Then you've got Greater Possessed, which come in the Shadow Spear box set. Again, you have one in a unit, but you can include uh, an additional one. You have Normal Possessed, uh, which contains five and you can have an extra fi up to 15, so that's 20 in the squad. Hellbrute is also there. Lots and lots of weapon options for this bad boy. Still very strong at toughness seven and uh, eight wounds. He's very fast too at movement eight inches, faster than your normal um, Space Marines. And he actually faster than Greater Possessed. More elites, you've got Corn Berserkers, you've got the Rubric Marines, Plague Marines, and noise marines lots of obviously weapons there for plague marines so it does mean that you can put your um plague marines in with uh this chaos space marine um army where you can put any sort of chaos space marines in if that makes sense then you've got uh, different uh, elite choices so you've got mutilators it contains uh three mutilators they have the five plus and vulnerable two plus normal but their their toughness is only four but they do have three wounds each they're very slow though um, but they do have those flesh metal weapons which are pretty good uh, they do have the flesh metal weapons the flesh metal weapons are a melee weapon though um, so these are the melee versions of uh, obliterators then you've got the fallen which i would say are more kind of dark angels kind of like fallen dark angels um, raptors and warp talons the difference is there is that the Warp Talons have uh, one better leadership and they're equipped with Lightning Claws, whereas the Raptors are typically equipped with Bolt Pistols and Chainsaws. Then you've got Chaos Spawn in Fast Attack and you can have up to five of them there. I'm looking forward to getting my two Chaos Spawn, uh, so I'll have three of them in total um, with my Warmer 40,000 Conquest uh, subscription. Bikers, um, you have three Bikers in the squad. Uh, you can have additional six of so nine in a squad there. And then after the fast attack, you've then got uh, heavy support. So you've got Havocs there. The big, big change with Havocs is this Toughness 5, which a few people have been grumbling about. Um, and also uh, the fact that the kit itself only has one chain cannon. Uh, they also have stabilization talons. Uh, the unit can move and fire heavy weapons without suffering penalty to the hit rolls. I think that's quite good. Um, that might make sense that they can move and fire now. Uh, if they've been fighting for you know, 10,000 years or so and their armor has been corrupted by chaos and it's been, I'll say, improved a little bit. Uh, it kind of makes sense that their armor's, you know, adjusted so that they can move and fire those heavy weapons. It's, it's pretty good. It makes them more competitive uh, and it's nice that chaos get uh, some kind of buff like that. Um, the toughness five thing, that makes sense as well because you can only have five of them. It's not like you can have 10 devastators now, you know, you can only have five in this heavy support choice and the heavy support choice, like, other space marine uh 
armies it does have a lot of competitive um, units in there uh, you've also got obliterators here uh, again these have got the crushing fists and the flesh metal guns again like the mutilators but they've actually got range weaponry yes it's only range 24 inches so that it's effective range of 28 inches um, and they are very slow so they're going to be easy to sort of pick off but yeah they do have toughness five the same as havocs now um, but they do have a, a two plus normal and a five plus invulnerable making them arguably better than uh, centurion devastators although the centurion devastators you can equip them with them um, Grav cannons and uh, las cannons. You've got a Chaos Vindicator here. I don't think that's uh, much different than uh, your normal Space Marine um, Vindicator. I'd love to get one though, I really would, just because obviously that Demolish Cannon is uh, immense. Um, then you've got Chaos Predator. Again, you can equip that with your Predator Auto Cannon which could get six shots of strength seven at 48 inch range. Then finally, a Chaos Land Raider. Um, again, need I say more, you can put 10 Legion Infantry models in there um, and Terminators take the space of two other models. Forge Fiend. This is the one with the uh, Hades Auto Cannon. Uh, you've got two Hades Auto Cannons and Demon Jaws. Uh, you can replace uh, the Hades Auto Cannons with Ectoplasma Cannons. The Ectoplasma Cannons um, <clears throat> are a shorter range but are better uh, AP, but instead of having four shots at 36 inch range, they do have a maximum of three shots, uh, but they do have a damage of possibly three. They're quite nice, uh, power points cost of an eight, uh, save a three plus and a five plus invulnerable, good toughness at seven, good wounds at 12, not too slow either at eight inch movement, same as a hell brute. Then you've got a defiler, always a good choice because it has that battle cannon which is a 72 inch range weapon and it has the uh, reaper auto cannon which can replace with a twin lads cannon giving it some anti-armor uh, abilities it's save, plus, save a three plus normal and of course it's demonic so it's a five plus invulnerable this is a thing with chaos you'll find that you know the saves are pretty strong at two pluses or three pluses and the toughness is quite high but also they get that invulnerable save a lot of the time um a bit like a bit like death guard they normally get there disgustingly resilient the mauler fiend then that is more of a, a close combat version of the forge fiend a bit cheaper in in uh, cost it's fists uh, times two and um, which is great so long as it doesn't lose half its wounds but even if it's down to one wound it's still going to be hitting at strength eight then you've got a new unit here the venom crawler um i'm a big fan of this mainly because those little water pistols on the side of its um abdomen it's a uh, yeah it's a bulbous um body ha are called excruciator cannons and uh they are a potentially at the start of the game a strength 8 AP minus 2 and a damage 3 assault D3 weapon each so you could be pumping out six shots of strength 8 which is pretty nice also has a 5 plus invulnerable save uh, at the start of each turn it regains one lost wound and also if it eats people then it regains another lost wound which is awesome it's got 10 wounds which is all right would have been nice if it had 11 or 12 um, and the weapons gun ballistic skill aren't the best but everything else about it is pretty good and it's it's decent in combat and it does explode very nicely too chaos rhino just chaos rhino um nothing more to say about that you can just transport 10 legion infantry models in there obviously worth it always to put that havoc launcher on it i think i do have a chaos um rhino and i'll be getting another one in the conquest magazine um, but i think i'll devote both of them to uh to nurgle then the hell drake as a flyer um, choice very strong ballistic skills only four plus though but it does move 30 inches strength seven toughness seven are pretty good the bale Fra flamer is a 18 inch range weapon um, and it automatically hits which is great it can have up to six shots at strength six ap minus two damage two uh, it does have its five plus invulnerable save and it can uh, rip other flyers out of the sky with its hades claws a lord of war then this is the big Lord of War. You've got the Corn Lord of Skulls. Um, it's quite fast of a movement of 10 inches, even, and it does have 28 wounds. I would have liked to have seen some kind of 
um, Chaos Imperial Knight in here, or another kind of Lord of War um, for, for Chaos. It has the 28 wounds, it's got good toughness, it's weapon skill, ballistic skill are, are, are pretty good at three plus, not the best though, um, but where it really shines at is those big, big weapons. You've got that Hades Gatling Cannon, which is immense, the Skull Hurler, which is also immense, and even the Great Cleaver goes up to 20 strength and AP minus four, um, and it's titanic. I'm just not a big fan of it being on the track. So other people love the model, that's fine. Then you've got the fortification, the Noctilith Crown, which has a ballistic skill of four plus because it can shoot, but it's only a short six inch range, but don't get within six inch range of it because it does a strength seven AP minus two. Uh, damage two uh, on you, uh, but it does have 14 wounds, so you can attack it. It's just whether you want to invest in in trying to take it down because that toughness eight is pretty hard to get through. Um, it has a three plus normal save. It does say uh, chaos units, of which it is, uh, have five plus and vulnerable save while they're wholly within six inches of the model, which probably would include it as well and i would actually go to fast far as to say that that has a five plus and vulnerable save what's the point of it giving a five plus and vulnerable save to things around it if it doesn't get one itself so it's another one of those odd rules but it doesn't say anywhere that it doesn't have that if that makes sense um but that's a good fortification to have because uh, that will be a focal point for your uh, opponent to um shoot at and the opponent will try not to put their psychers within 24 inches of the model as well. It still sucks that it doesn't have any other abilities. I think Games Workshop have missed a trick here. Um, I think they should have jumped on the chance of it being some kind of portal thing and been able to move units around the battlefield um, quicker or even bring through reinforcements. Like if you've got... Um, reinforcements uh, up in a teleportarium chamber they can just teleport um, through this uh, they don't have to roll they don't have to you know they can just pop up out of this anytime um, during the battle and um, that would have been nice some kind of other buff um, to the force other than re-rolling psychic tests for chaos psychers um, within six inches so you've got to put your chaos psychers within six inches of this thing and clearly your havocs which they've advertised very um, very directly there there you go, that's all of the data sheets. I've gone through all 53 of the little suckers. Um, this is the Forbidden Armory, which goes through every single um, weapon profile, both the range weaponry and the uh, melee weapons, um, which there is almost two pages. You've got the Chaos icons there. Um, you've got a nice picture of uh, all of them. You've got uh, a Baden going against a Terminator captain, and then you've got some um, custodies um, fighting them. Um, and you've got some more Blood Angels dotted about, which is pretty good. The Lost and the Damned, uh, you've got uh, Chaos Space Marine Units. Um, so this is uh, rules for the Battle Forged Armies. Legion Traits, uh, here are the Legion Traits. Um, in the review, I'll be going through these uh, a little bit more in depth, but essentially Black Legion get one to leadership characteristic. Um, and if a unit uh, advanced, then the rapid fire weapons uh, you treat as assault weapons. Iron Warriors, uh, units attacked by units with this trait don't gain any bonus to their saving throws for being in cover. Um, and you can reroll failed wound rolls for units with this trait when they're in a building, when they target a building. And then you've got Renegade Chapters, uh, Dark Raiders, units can, um, units can advance and charge in the same turn. World Eaters, uh, Butcher's Nail, Nails, when the unit makes a successful charge, you can make one additional attack with each of the models in the subsequent uh, fight phase. Night Lords, models in enemy units must subtract one from their leadership characteristic for each unit for this trait. Emperor's Children, units with this trait always fight first in the fight phase even if they didn't charge and if the enemy units have charged um, and they have similar ability then you alternate uh, choosing units to fight with starting with the player whose turn it's taking place. Alpha Legion, your opponent must subtract one from hit rolls that target units with this trait if they are more than 12 inches away. That's pretty good. And then word bearers and profane zeal. You can reroll failed morale tests for these units uh, with this trait. Then you've got all the stratagems. Uh, the one that's uh, been um, highlighted clearly is the endless cacophony. Um, you use it at the, at the end of your shooting phase and you select a her heretic Astarte Slanesh infantry or biker unit and that unit can immediately shoot again. So I can see why people have 
picked up on that and used it for Slanesh um, Havocs <laughs> so that you, you're you kicking out eight last cannon shots um, with your Havocs uh, within one turn. That is something that can't really be ignored. Um, <laughs> Uh, especially if they've moved and then and then shot them. Um, so there's more stratagems there. Prayers to the Dark Gods. Um, so these are all the uh, Apostles' Prayers. The Hereticus Discipline and the Malefic Discipline, the psych Psychic Powers. I'll go through these in the review, guys. Um, Artifacts of Chaos. Again, I'll go through these in the review. Warlord Traits. And Points Values. Just to say right here, the Corn of Skulls is a 380 point model. Abaddon is 240 points. And the Lord Discordant on Hellstalker is 150 points. It's quite reasonable, I think. And then Tactical Objectives. So there you go, that's my full uh, first look. More of a review, review than a first look. I've spent ages on this um, video. But I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been uh, useful. Thank you for sticking by me all the way through to the end. If there was bits that I missed out uh, that you were looking forward to, I do apologize, but I will try and cover much more of this book in my uh, full review. Coming out after Games Workshop have released all of their new um, Chaos Space Marine models. I always like to do the review of the codex uh, at the very end of a new release. What do you guys think of the codex and the rules? Um, I think uh, they've definitely had a bit more of a buff and they've had a nice injection of reinforcements um, in the form of the, the new models. Just wish that they would um, renew a few of the older ones as well. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Death to the False Emperor.